Hi, my name is Pam, and I am a single mother of three beautiful girls. I have seven-year-old Ashlyn, and I have a set of one-year-old twin girls, Olivia and Liliana. I am also a member of G-Team here at Calvary, and I'm also a volunteer with the True Fire series in Kids Calvary Church. The first time I saw G-Team was August of 2014. Uh, the day before they had came into my neighborhood, I had just recently moved into my apartment. I didn't know anybody in my neighborhood, and the next morning I woke up, opened my back door, and there was this yellow truck with kids' handprints all over it and this loud music, and I, I wasn't really sure what exactly was going on, but it, it intrigued me. So I put on my shoes and I made my way out the door. Little did I know I was coming across GT. Uh, they were a part of Calvary. I went outside and immediately, as soon as I walked up to see what was going on, Pastor John greeted me with a hug. He welcomed me. I kind of just observed that first day, you know, what exactly it is they were doing and what type of message they were getting out. I quickly realized that they were spreading the Word of God to the community to children that may or may not be able to make it into church on Sunday or have the opportunity to come to church. The second time G-Team came out was the following week. And at this point, I felt like I was part of a family already. Um, I was just welcomed immediately with open arms. At that present point in time, I was going through childhood cancer with my oldest daughter, Ashlyn. At 10 months old, she was diagnosed with neuroblastoma cancer, which is a rare childhood cancer. She was born with a tumor attached to her spinal cord. Uh, a year prior to meeting G-Team, uh, we got the diagnosis that she, was, that she had cancer. As a single mom, that was not something I wanted to face by myself. I knew that I needed God's help, and I really feel as though God sent G-Team to me for a reason. And now, five years later, I think I'm kind of understanding the reason already. I, I was already moved by them in the first week that they had came back. The second week they had came back, I had this overpowering feeling that this is what I needed to be involved in. And I realized that the first time I was out at G-Team, I wasn't so much worried about my everyday problems. I wasn't worried about my daughter's cancer. I wasn't worried about my neighborhood. I wasn't, I wasn't worried about everyday life and problems. For that little bit of time, I could just rejoice and I could be grateful for what I did have. And that was the ability to wake up every day and to serve. When I was a young child, my parents made sure that we went to church, we as in my brothers and sisters, we went to church on a daily basis. We had the fundamentals and the grasp of God and Jesus' life. Um, but it wasn't until I connected with G-Team that I would honestly say that I gave my life to Christ and that I started to serve. Um, once G-Team came about, it kind of gave me a thankfulness even though I was going through something that most parents don't ever get to go through, thankfully. Uh, I was going through something that was hard, it was difficult. Um, my Christianity and my faith kind of gave me an outlet and an escape from all of that. Uh, I have grown spiritually um, tremendously in the amount of time that I've worked with G-Team. Um, so much so that I started out with G-Team to where now I am a volunteer in the True Fire series at Kids Church. I also host a game night on at my own home on Wednesday nights for the same group of children that I've been working with for the last five years. Um, and I encourage them and empower them the same way that Christ has encouraged and empowered me to just give out anything and everything that you can to your community. Um, it, it doesn't even have to be to the whole city. You can just do something as small as something right in your own neighborhood like I do. I started with G-Team um, because of the simple fact that I had this yearning in my heart to go out and show the love of God. I was taking so much negativity in my life and just using that, that I just wanted to let it go. I wanted to do something more positive. I wanted to do something more positive with my time. I had a lot of free time being a stay-at-home single mom. Um, and for me, making disciples and being able to say that I, I'm, I'm creating 
the future, basically. I'm, I'm helping these children to realize that positivity brings positivity. So if they're out here spreading love and they're spreading positivity, then they're only going to encourage and empower others to do the same thing. Everybody lives in a community. Everybody lives in a neighborhood or on a road. I mean, and you may not know your neighbors. And to me, that was a problem for me. I wanted to know the people that lived around me. And I wanted to make sure that they knew who I was. They knew that the love of God was flowing through me. And I just encourage people that if you're afraid to get out there, don't be. Pray to God. Ask Him to help you. Ask Him to guide you. I, I had to do it many times myself. Ask Him to encourage you to help encourage your community. That is the only way we are going to get this message across to the ones that really need it.